the anthem. It's yeah, look, wow. There on the, on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful carnival selection here, you guys. Wonderful. And as I say, I'm just going to move the camera around slowly to get an idea of their amazing carnivorous selection here at Glasgow Botanic Gardens. Wow, all this, uh, all the big sphagnum moss here, keeping everything well humidified. <coughs> this our seniors. Lovely business. It's so this beautiful, um, beautiful green, a glass house here, large, perfect for the uh, all the carnivorous plants. Oh, look, we have a little flower. Isn't that beautiful? One of the little butterworts. Beautiful purple flower there. It's great how they've got this. So this is completely covered with soaking wet sphagnum moss. Obviously, all completely hydrated with rainwater. <laughs> beautiful and. Uh, just remarkable. I so said it would just take me far too long to go around on individual plants with the camera to show you. So this is just a bit of a bit of a quick um, scooty round, as I say, just so you get a bit of an idea of what they've got here. So this is the carnivorous killer plants greenhouse. <laughs> Incredible. It's lovely in the middle as well. They've got like, like a little, almost like a little pond there with loads of um, moisture-loving plants and carnivores. Great atmosphere for them here. So it's pretty cold in this, in this glass house here. There's no heating, as the carnivores can take much cooler temperatures. Cobra plant, Darlingtonia, wonderful. Absolutely fantastic. Now guys, this is another, another little glass house attached to um, one of the other big palm houses here. And I'll uh, just show you here, this is mostly, in fact it's all succulents, no cacti in here. I'm going to show you what they've got here, some amazing big um, anium. Look at that, this is huge guys. And um, beautiful, beautiful, a selection of pretty much everything here. Another little, there's a miniature anium here. Just look at this, I'll just show you this amazing... Uh, <laughs> this Hansi having his banana. Yeah. <laughs> the growing bananas. Not picked off the tree here. <laughs> and uh, more. More beautiful. This would be a crassula, I would say. Yeah, crassula variety. Some are labelled, some aren't. Another anium there. And what's amazing with aniums, you can see where they've obviously they've pruned them, cut them back, and this is all the new growth. And aniums do have a habit of growing very sort of lanky and straggly over time. And it's good to know you can just prune them right back, and they'll just send out loads of new shoots, little rosette uh, shoots of leaves over time as well, pretty quickly as well, which is great because it's a great way of keeping them in shape there. This is one of the little miniature aniums. We've got this one ourselves, a anium, a little tiny one. And that's another one there. Great selection of aniums here, all different types. And this lovely big, uh, lovely, another big anium here. That's wonderful. Lovely big rosette shape of leaves there. Gorgeous. Here, lovely displayed. Or here too. And this, look at this beautiful big Euphorbia canariensis. That is absolutely huge. Eh? Well, me and Hansi have got some seedlings of Euphorbia canariensis that we've grown from seed ourselves, but that's just gorgeous. I mean, look at that. Lovely size. More little aniums, and this is a Euphorbia tiracali, and it's a giant. Look at the size of that, guys. It's absolutely massive. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous plant. And here, more aniums. I say mostly aniums in here of many, many different types. It's beautiful and uh, absolutely gorgeous. And then here is Lampranthus, and we have a couple. 
couple of these. We have a red flowering one, and um, it's like a pinky flower one. This one is an absolutely beautiful, bright orange flowering, clean, um, bright flowering Lampranthus, I should say. It's absolutely beautiful. Look at that. Isn't it gorgeous colour? Oh, and then it's beautiful as well. And more Lampranthus <laughs> we have here. Absolutely wonderful. We would just love a greenhouse this size for all our plants. What a dream that would be. And Hansi, are you enjoying it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's our paradise. <laughs> it's wonderful. We love to go and travel as much as we can to see lots of botanic gardens. And um, it'd be lovely to sort of travel around the world and do the same thing one day. Look at that. And that's it. So that's the little succulent, or the big, I should say, succulent greenhouse here at Glasgow Botanic Gardens.